We'll guide you through how to host a Minecraft server on your own computer for 1.21.7. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. When you've got a server, other people can then go and join it, you can play together and have a world together. To get started, come out of Minecraft and open up a web browser. What we need to do is go and get the Minecraft server client. So what you need to do is go and type in Minecraft server download like so. Come to the official Minecraft site, here we are. What we can then do is we can go and click on the download here and it's going to go and begin. Now that we've downloaded it, come out of your web browser, go and open up your file explorer and you can come to your downloads. Press downloads to the left and then here it is, server.jar. Drag this onto your desktop like so. On your desktop, you want to go and right click, hover over new and you want to go and press folder and you can then go and name this. I'll name this own server, name it what you want and then drag server.jar into it and open up the folder. Here it is. What you need to do is you need to go and double click on it like so. What should now happen is that these files and folders start getting generated. If you find nothing happens or something else happens, this is likely because you don't have Java. So what you need to do is go and open up a web browser like so, and you need to go and head to java.com. Then what you can do is press download Java for desktops. You can then press download Java for desktops again, wait for this to download and go and install it like any other application. Then what you can do is return to server.jar, right click on it, Hover over, open with, and you may need to go and click choose another app. We can select Java and press always, and it will then go and run. And then it should go and generate the files here. If that still doesn't work, you may need to do something called a jar fix, which links jar and jar files together again. That should go and solve the problem. If it still doesn't, then what we can also try doing is going and getting something called JDK, which stands for Java Development Kit. So press back, and we can get developer downloads, press here, wait for this to go and load. And then what you want to do is we can go and get JDK 21. You can select Windows and we can then go and find the installer. Click here or go and download. And once again, like any other application, go and download it and you can then go and run server.jar. And that should then go and generate these files and folders. As you know, we're hosting this server on our computer with this guide. That isn't always ideal because then the computer has to be running the whole time with the server running for people to go and join it. They'll also be joining your network, which isn't always ideal as well. So a great alternative to this is to sponsor of today's video, Apex Hosting. I'll put a link down below if you're interested in the pinned comment and the description. Right now you can get yourself a discount as well. So it's definitely worth checking out. They've got some great benefits like DDoS protection, keeping your server safe. 24 seven servers and support. So your server is going to be online even if your computer's off and you can get the help anytime you need it with their live chat. Ultra latency, meaning a good connection for players connecting. So if you're interested, I'll go and put a link down below. A big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Now for the next step, you need to go and find eula.txt, double click on it to open it. What you need to do is go and get this web address here. Copy this after highlighting it and paste it into a web browser. What you then need to do is go and read it through. It's an agreement. If you decide you want to agree with it, you need to come here and change EULA from false to true. Go to the top left and press file and press save. So you've now saved that. Then what you can do is return here. Just before you run it though, you can open up server.properties. Here you can adjust some different settings for your server. You can always come back here again in the future and make further adjustments though. Then what you want to do is go and double click on server.jar again. And now it should go and open up the actual server application, as you can see, or whatever you want to call it. We'll go and see it's preparing the spawn area and the world. We've now gone and set it up and it's running. What you can do here is then type in the command line and you can go and type in op space and then type in your Minecraft username. So you become the admin if you want to be. I'm now going to be a server operator. That's my name. For you to go and join the server, it's really easy. You can go and open up Minecraft, press on multiplayer, proceed. And what you can do is go and press add server and you can then go and type in the address here. So I could go and type in local host because we're hosting on a computer, I could join it this way, select it and press join server. And here we are, we're now playing on the server. If we go and pause it, we can go and see I've joined the game. Now it's important to note that if other people want to go and join, we need to go and make this available to them. I'll guide you through that now. So the most common way people do this is called port forwarding. And that's essentially where you go and set it up so people can go and connect to your network and join your server. This isn't ideal because you have to go and share your IP address uh, and people can, can can go and join it. The other way is we can go and also go and use an application to go and make it available to the public, which I'll guide you through, but you can always go and work out to port forward, but that does the, depend upon your browser. So this application I'll guide you through does work well, but it is why I really like using Apex hosting because we can go and get it all ran for us and not on our computer, as I explained earlier. 
So if you want to go make this server live, what we need to do, open up a web browser. Now, what you need to do is go and search something called playit.gg. Head straight to the website like so. Now, what we can do is go and press download as we can go and run an online game server. Choose our platform. We're using Windows. We can get the Windows installer. It's now downloaded. Now, what we can do is come back to our downloads here and you want to go and find play it and you can double click on it and go and run it. So we can go through this here. This is what we're going to be installing. We can press next and then install. You'll get a Windows Creedy pop-up. That's fine. And we can then press finish. Now we've installed it. We need to go and run it. So press search at the bottom and you want to go and type in playit.gg. Now it's going to go and run. You're going to get given a link here. Hold control and you can then click it. It's going to open up in a web browser. What we can do is press create an account. You can create one here or you can use a guest account. Follow through the steps. It's going to wait for the play it program to connect to our servers. You can see that it's connected and we can press create tunnel. Choose your region. It's a free one, but if you want to use more specific, you have to go premium. And for the tunnel type, select Minecraft Java, like so. And we can then make sure it's enabled and press add tunnel. Now it's going to be pending. Be patient. On here, you're going to go and see some different information. You're going to go and see a URL and an IP and a port. So what you can do is go and grab the public address. You'll see this up here and down here. And you can go and click, hold and drag to highlight it. Right click it and press copy. Then what we can do is go and give that to people. People can go and type that in and connect your server 